welcome guys so we're gonna get right into it once you got FL Studio open go to file select new so you guys will see right over here will be your channel rack this is where all your sounds will be coming from kick drums claps so you guys can just draw it in here your pianos all of your sounds will be going into this channel rack so where these sounds will be coming from will be on your left so this will just be like your mini interface to show like all of your beats and all of your sounds you got so I'll just be making use of these packs you guys can just go to packs select kicks and just select any kick you like so once you got a kick just drag it over and draw it in and you're right with sounds so I'm just gonna be getting into the most used controls on FL so you guys will see these icons here on top each of these icons will bring up a different interface so the first one over here will bring up your multi-track playlist so this one is where your full song will be going to so you will be arranging your song from your channel racks into here so on our next icon we have our piano roll where we can draw up our notes or we can use our keyboard to type it in um a channel rack like i already showed you guys so our next one will be our channel mixer so this is where our effects will come in reverb delays if we want to play around our sound so i'll get into that this one right here it's just your interface on the side where your sounds come from and then this one over here so it's just um all of your sounds in one place so right that's it for now so you guys will see right over here i got a metro boomin drum kit i've downloaded it it's uh for free i'll leave a link in the description where you guys can download it it's one of the first drum kits i actually use and i'm still using today it's actually kind of dope it has all the sounds you need so i'll use one of these kicks you guys can make use of your own kicks you guys can use any any other kick it's just for the purpose of this video so i'll go ahead and uh, i'm just gonna change my tempo a bit it's a bit slow so i'll change the tempo up a bit and i'll draw in my my notes open up a bit for more space drag this thing at the bottom just trying to create a basic pattern alright alright so once you got your pattern now you can listen to it without your metronym so now I can add my clap once I got my clap Add maybe some hi hats, just a basic hi hat. What do you guys think about? All right, so this will be my basic beat. So what I'm going to do is, see this arrow over here, I can either rename it, so I'll just call it drums, it'll be my drum kit, I'll just add it here on my multi-track playlist. So once you got your pattern, click on song, and this will enable you to play from your multi-track playlist. So click on the plus sign over here, add another pattern, melody 1, I'm going to call it, uh, drag it up the bottom. So this will be where we're gonna start and creating our melody so I'll just use a, a keyboard you guys can find it on your plugin presets generators you can either go down scroll and you guys will see FL keys so one of the piano rolls I like to use is armor once you guys are in armor go to keyboard you guys will find different types of keyboards over here so I like to make yourself piano too so I'm just be using Piano 2, drag it over. So once that's open, just click. Whoa, it's a bit loud, so just turn down the volume a bit. Right click, piano roll. So you guys will go into piano roll, this will show up the piano roll for this keyboard, for this piano sound. So right over here, you can 
Once you got your basic notes, go to this tool, drag it over, click on your pencil icon. Okay, whoops. We'll just do that again. You guys see this tool over here? Drag it over. And then pencil. All you do is hold down shift and click on it and drag it over. Alright, so now you got your basic notes. Just play around with it a bit and make it sound more realistic. So I'm just gonna edit a bit. Drag this up. go ahead and maybe add uh, another instrument so I'll go ahead and just click on this add it so once that's open I'm gonna have to click on the arrow just to separate it from this channel I'll create it called Mel2 Melody 2 so so to separate it from that from the first melody I'll have to create it on a separate channel so I'll just come here. Try and find it. Alright. sound and I'll just add another composition to make it sound more fuller so started with FL Studio as it will actually help you a lot like just play around with the tools see what it does and from there you can Once 
you got your basic beat going, you can either add more sounds if you like, or some extra hi-hats for example, and um, just add it to it and see what's, what's the outcome. So for instance, what I like doing is, for my hi-hats I would usually, create. okay I'm gonna just draw it all up in here. So once it's drawn, uh, just make some gaps in between. Something like that. Hear how it sounds. Alright, something like that. Last thing is, if you guys want to chop up your hi hats, just go to the piano roll of that um, hi hat and drag it open. You guys will see this is how it is. So, So yeah, there you guys have it. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys will like and subscribe so I can make you guys more videos like this.